Good morning, Your Honor. John Perry on behalf of Mr. Darius Bean. Um, at this time, we waive a formal reading of the indictment off of the court. A plea of not guilty. Mr. Summers, I see you back there. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, on behalf of uh, my client, Justin Smith, Charles Summers, uh, we uh, enter uh, waive a formal reading of the indictment and enter a plea of not guilty on behalf of Mr. Smith. Mm -hmm. um, morning, Judge. On behalf of Mr. Mills, we waive a formal reading of the indictment and enter a not guilty plea. Gentlemen, each of your attorneys have entered pleas of not guilty on your behalf. Uh, understand that despite everyone's best effort, uh, this case may take some time. We understand that there may be some uh, high emotions in this case, but we ask that you continue to uh, be patient with us. Uh, five defendants always presents a challenge in terms of logistics and everything. I think y'all saw that in there today. It was a cramped courtroom and uh, all that. We believe it's important that. Uh, Everybody who uh, took part in this criminality, everybody who did something criminal is brought to justice in this case. So. Much has been said about the ways that the system has failed Mr. Nichols. I will work tirelessly to make sure that the system does not fail Mr. Mills and that a fair outcome is achieved. There's a cause for concern about an overall culture that needs to be revisited, and I think it really opens up the need for a broader conversation about police reform, not only here in Memphis and Shelby County, but I think across the country. Uh, I had to be here today to make sure that justice gets done for our son. This is a glorious day. This is the beginning of the process. So the statement's going to be very short, and I'm just glad to be here. Our family's glad to be here, and I appreciate everybody coming out. Uh, thank you for being here. As my husband stated, um, this is the beginning of the process. Um, we're going to be here at every court date so that they can know that we're here. They need to, I don't know, I, I feel, it's funny because I feel very numb right now. I feel very numb and I'm waiting for this nightmare basically that I'm going through right now. I'm waiting for somebody to wake me up, right? I'm really waiting for somebody to wake me up. But I also know that's not going to happen, okay? I know my son is gone. I know I'll never see him again. But we have to start this process of justice right now. And I want each and every one of those police officers to be able to look me in the face. They, they haven't done that yet. They couldn't even do that today. They didn't even have the courage mm. to look at me in my face mm. after what they did to my son. So they're gonna see me at every court date, <laughs> everyone. Exactly. And um, until we get justice for my son. And so, yes. And, and if, Note the choice of words that Robin used as uh, she told Judge Dorsey and us, they didn't have the courage to look me in my face. Mm -hmm. Not dignity to look me in my face because when you look at the video, there was no dignity there. But they didn't even have the courage to look at her in her face mm -hmm. and that's what she came to the courtroom to see today them look her and her face eye to eye how could you do this to my son and they uh. didn't.